Hello and greetings from Iceland. But today I finally got some answers. Answers I've been waiting for. But it is no easy task for our experts to know uh, what is really going on up there by this uh, volcano. A volcano that has uh, so far been creating uh, by far more uh, questions rather than answers. So I was very happy to see this interview published uh, just today, a few hours ago, with uh, Mr. Ármann Höskuldsson, one of our finest uh, experts. And he is literally confirming there the suspicion that we had, and I have mentioned uh, before, or that the Reykjanes Peninsula, and I mean the whole peninsula, is about to do the big thing. Meaning, this is not a single isolated eruption or event. This is more of a warning that uh, we should maybe just be thankful for. Or as he said directly, but I'm leaving a link for you to this interview, it is almost certain that the next eruption will not be as comfortable. We do not know when, but it's quite clear that Reykjanes has started. We will have other eruptions on the Reykjanes Peninsula and in worse places. And uh, it is with this thing he said, in worse places, other than Reykjanes, that uh, really got to me. And I was wondering why the journalist didn't ask him better about it. Because this is perhaps the story of the century unfolding right in front of us. But I was actually talking about one of those uh, worst places just yesterday in my video. This uh, worst places or worst place is not directly on the peninsula according to a volcanologist, but it has to be close by. And it could be the place I was talking about in my video yesterday, places like under this uh, swimming pool. But there was a volcanologist called Harald Sigurdsson who said that it would be possible to see an eruption come up there in Reykjavík and that was uh, six years ago. So what I'm thinking now about this interview I saw today is, uh, is this interview trying to tell us that uh, an eruption is possible in Reykjavík? He expects the Krisuvik volcano system to be the next troublemaker and that is the volcano system that stretches into Reykjavík. He added that uh, he was also expecting that it would be the so-called uh, Sundanjúkar system, that uh, it would be one of the next uh, troublemakers as well. And since I gave a good report about the uh, Krisvik uh, volcano system yesterday, I'm going to go over the uh, Sundanjúkar system now, and that is uh, this land here, only a few kilometers away from the current eruption, but it is a separate uh, volcano system. And what we call Sundanjúkar, or to be more specific, in uh, Great Icelandic, that I know you love, it is called Sundanjúkagígarúð, Sundanjúkagígarúð. But that is an old row of craters, about uh, 8 kilometers long, and the earthquake activity has been picking up there uh, recently. But before the eruption, there was this huge uh, earthquake activity there. And uh, for a while they suspected that, uh, that uh, an eruption uh, might come up there. And the really bad news about that is the fact that uh, eruption from this uh, old row of craters could mean disaster for the fishery town Grindavík, just south of those uh, old uh, craters. And Grindavík is built on lava from those craters. Bad news. And uh, only a few kilometers to west of that, we have the uh, Blue Lagoon and a power plant, or to make it simple, billions in infrastructures. But the volcanologist mentioned also Eldwerp, also further west, and the name Eldwerp means uh, flamethrower. And if an eruption would come up there, that's uh, further away from uh, Grindavík and uh, expensive uh, infrastructure, but closer to Keflavík International Airport. So all those options are bad. But the worst case scenario is Grindavík. And so far we have been so lucky that the eruption where it is now is far away from all infrastructure. It's on as good place as uh, we could have wished for. But as for the news we got today, all of the volcanic systems on the peninsula are vulnerable, confirming that the experts were right when they have for the last 20 years said that when the Reykjanes Peninsula would start, it would not stop for a long, long time. But so far there has been little or no discussion about this bigger picture. Everybody has been dancing around this uh, small volcano, but not thinking about what it could uh, really mean, and uh, hoping that this would just be a single isolated event, or what we call tourist eruption. But it doesn't look like it now. It looks like that we are going into a long period, but overall just a mixed bag of uh, uncertainty for up to 200 years.
and that is a message that uh, we as standards are getting now, little by little. And it was my plan today to talk about the current eruption, but uh, all of a sudden the eruption uh, seems to be way smaller than yesterday, even it isn't. So I'm going to save that story for a bit longer and get some uh, more meat on that bones. And remind you that the video I made yesterday is even better today because of its uh, content, or where I talk about the Krisuvik volcano system and what it could do to the city. And uh, I can tell you other news that I read today, or that the uh, main infrastructure on the Reykjanes Peninsula has all been mapped, and uh, all owners of uh, trucks and bulldozers, they have been registered in order to be contacted if uh, infrastructure like uh, power lines, hot uh, water pipelines and such will need uh, immediate attention. If something of that kind will be needed, it will be needed in Grindavík. If there will be a lava flow into the harbor of Grindavík, uh, the town might just be over and done with. So this is serious. And uh, slowly and surely, we are getting the news that the history of Iceland could be about to take another turn due to the forces of nature. Perhaps the biggest turn since the 1783 disaster. And one of the weird things is that uh, we are not just dealing with this uh, peninsula. The Grimsot volcano, which is located uh, on the rise, is expected to erupt soon. But uh, I have a video about that, and I'm leaving a link for you. Mount Hekla is always a ticking time bomb, like uh, Mount uh, Katla. So despite of this craziness on the Reykjanes Peninsula, there is more on the way. But those volcanoes, they are not beside our capital. Or like I've always said, it's not that those volcanoes on this peninsula would be the most dangerous ones, but it is how close they are to the capital that makes all the difference. And I'm not sure that Icelanders in general are aware of how big this is. 200 years of uh, volcanic uh, and seismic unrest just by the doorsteps. But enough about that now. Tomorrow is a new day, and uh, I will be going to Reykjavik tomorrow or the next day, like I've been uh, talking about lately. I'm in desperate need of uh, footage for American Peninsula, but to have a good... Uh, Photostock, own photostock is uh, so precious for me in order to describe what is happening or about to happen or has happened. So that's a priority for me now because I might be a part of the generation that is about to witness events that happens only every thousand years or so. So we have the chance to prepare ourselves for events that uh, might be more serious. There are volcanic eruptions on Iceland every three, five years. We have uh, managed to live uh, beside those uh, volcanoes. Not a problem. But every three, four hundred years, we get uh, major events. I'm not sure that the Reykjanes Peninsula could be categorized there, because there are highland volcanoes who are uh, considered to be by far more dangerous, like uh, Bárðarbunga and uh, Grímsvöð. So what we are facing now is uh, uncertainty. Uncertainty that uh, we can only meet with uh, good mindset and be positive. Because after all, despite of uh, many of the flaws that this land has, weather, volcanoes, and such. There are so many other things that we are getting instead. And Iceland is big. So I say for myself, I think it's uh, different times ahead. And I think that we will go through this uh, like we have gone through similar events before. That is my belief. But this is enough for today. Not exactly the best uh, description of the ongoing events, more of my thoughts, but uh, that is also the purpose of my channel. Or to share with you how it is to live on an island like this. And days like today are a part of it. So with that, I'm sending you all my best from the volcanic island, Iceland.